So hello and welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be learning how to schedule functions using Firebase, also known as cron jobs, right? So there might be some things that you want to run every few seconds, every few minutes, maybe on every Monday, you want to send all your subscribers a newsletter, maybe on every sign up, you want to run some things on the background. So whenever there's a job that you want to run every day of the week, every day of the month, every hour right let's say you have an application where you want to send weather updates where it's very critical for your viewers to know or for your subscribers or, or the followers of your website to know if the temperature drops below minus 30 degrees you need to inform them so all those scenarios a cron job is perfect for and today we'll see how easily we can create a cron job using firebase functions now if you don't know about firebase firebase is basically a basque service also known as backend as a service Right. So if you just know front end programming and a little bit of JavaScript, you know, to handle back end, you can create full stack applications. Today. And if you're interested to learn more about this, we have a full blown playlist on our channel. We are also working on a course and we are working day and night very hard to, uh, to create that course for you. Uh, so let us know what you would like to learn in that course. Uh, it's uh, suspected to be released uh, in about two to three months. So uh, hit the subscribe button to know more about it. Also check our blog below where you will find some offers for our course. Now, quickly getting back into Firebase functions, if you don't know what they are, they're basically a serverless application function which uh, can run whenever you hit an API or whenever something changes in your database. It just depends on your use case, right? And if you haven't been here, if you are here for the first time and you haven't seen our previous videos, we created like a Hello World application using Firebase. So if you don't know the basics and if you don't have Firebase functions set up in your Firebase account, please go ahead and check out the previous video. The link will be in the description below so that you have the basics ready for this video. Now, I want to run something. Let's say I just want to run the same message, hello world from serverless application, but I want to run this every one minute, right? Let's say that's my use case. So how can we do that? First of all, my application already has a Firebase connection. As I said, we have done the basics in another video. So please go ahead and check that out so that you don't feel lost. First of all, you have to export, you know, this is the name of your function. So let's say, uh, hello every two minutes, every one minute. Now, again, this can be anything. This can be relevant to your application, right? I'm here just to show you a demo. And now we can say functions. We have imported that from Firebase functions, right? And then we'll use a pub sub library, a pub sub package from this. And then we'll set the schedule. Now this schedule is very interesting because this uses the cron expression, right? And if you don't know about cron expressions, let me just give you a quick like crash course on it. Right, so the first one here means how many times in, a, in an hour? So this is the minute, right? So I want to say, I want to run this every one minute. This is the hour, how many hours in a day or which hour, let's say 9 a.m., 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. This is again, the day of the month. This is month of the year. And finally, this is day of the week. For example, what if you only want to run your applications every Monday, right? Or every Tuesday or every Sunday. So depending on that, you have this cron expression, which you can use, you can learn more about it, you know, to be, uh, a bit better and uh, to feel more safer when you run an application. And finally, on run is a function that will be executed. So this takes a context. Now, as I said, the first one, I'm just going to say the console log, hello world from a serverless application. You'll check the logs, you'll see if this is working. And if this works, then we'll build a more sophisticated application. We'll build something that saves uh, something in our database every one minute, right? So you will also learn how to do interaction between a database with the help of a Firebase schedule function, also known as, again, cron. So let's do a simple console log. So hello world from a serverless application. This should be enough. In the end, we just have to return something. Now I'll just return null just to let the function know that everything is all right over here. And then we'll finally deploy it using I think the command is Firebase function uh, deploy only functions. Let's try it out. Firebase deploy only. Now, if, if this doesn't work, then I'll probably just Google it quickly. But the commands are very, you know, it, they're available everywhere. You don't need to remember them. There you go. This looks like it worked. If my cron expression is all right and I don't have any other bugs in the code, 
this should probably sh uh, schedule a Firebase function and it should automatically start working. And where will we find this? Now this can take a couple of minutes to deploy. It says a folder uploaded successfully. So it's asking that we already have a Firebase function. So hello function is one that I created before in a previous video. So it's, it's asking me, we feel like it's missing from the file. So do you want to delete this one, right? So I'll say, sure, delete this one. You know, why not? We don't need it anymore. But soon it will deploy and you will see it in action. I'll show you the logs, the proof that it works every one minute it runs, right? Then I'll also show you the scheduler and you can also force run, right? Let's say something has to run every 9 a.m. on Mondays, but you are working on it now, right? So for that reason, you can also force run it so that you can see the logs and make sure everything is working fine. And then from, from then on, it will run every Monday 9 a.m. as expected. So there are a lot of tools and a lot of things we can use. We'll just cover the basics today. So as I said, the first application we are going to do is uh, making a console log statement every one minute. And in the more advanced version that we'll do today, we'll save something in the database every one minute. Right? These are the two things I'm very interested to do. Now, till this deploys, let's not waste our time and also set up a fire, Cloud Firestore. So Cloud Firestore, if you don't know, it's a database because as I said, in the second example, I want to save something in this database. So let's just create one so that we are ready. Here you will see two options, start in production mode or test mode. Now I want to start in the test mode. Why? The reason is that I, I want to start in the test mode because it's not a production application, obviously, right? So, so this is working. Our cloud function is being deployed, perfect. Let's just wait for it to complete and then we'll continue. There you go. It's finally completed. Let's go ahead and check it out. So if I refresh here, it should have our function, newly created one, and our log should already be running. So it says, hello, every one minute, perfect. It's also converted into pub sub, which is a trigger on uh, on a schedule on a you know on a fixed number of minutes or hours or weeks whatever you have set up. And uh, right now it has zero request. It also has a timeout of one minute. So if your uh, code takes more than one minute, it will probably fail. So that's perfect. That will make sure that our server never crashes. We can check the logs. So let's open that. Also, we can see it in Cloud Scheduler. Cloud Scheduler will give you more functions and also more details about what you've just created. So first of all, it did a console log and it said, hello world from a serverless application. There you go, it worked, right? I'm so happy and I'm, and you can see it's so easy, right? We didn't really have to write a lot of logic. So that's why I really love the BAS uh, infrastructure, right? Uh, Firebase as a function or, or uh, sorry, uh, Firebase in general, or there's AWS Amplify, there's one from Azure as well. They're really nice. Now I'm going to stream it. Stream basically means I want to keep on listening to the logs and whatever new happens, also show that to me so that I don't have to hit refresh every you know, 10 seconds. And if our Firebase functions work on a schedule properly, we should see another log statement after one minute. So let's just quickly see it works. Now, obviously I'm live, so I can't skip this part. So bear with me for a minute and then we'll soon see if it's actually working or not. The last one ran at 9.21. The next one should run at 9.22. Perfect, right on time. Hello world from a serverless application. This is so awesome. I'm really in love with this. I am obsessed with this because it's so easy to deploy a cron job now, which used to be so difficult only a few years ago. Okay, now that we have done the basics, let's not get ahead of, of ourselves, right? We also want to make sure that we can actually do something meaningful. We can actually save something in the database every one minute as well. So I'm just gonna do a basic change to this application, right? Uh, first of all, I'm gonna include Firestore in my application. So let's install the package, npm i. Wait, let me clear the console, npm i. I think it's at Google Cloud. Firestore. So let's get this. Till then, I'll, obviously, I can also write the import for this.
There you go. Now that we have imported it, let's quickly use it, right? And because I don't really have a real application here, I'll just save the timestamp after every one minute. So basically, if it's 921, then 922, 923, basically, this will be stored in my database and whenever the clone runs, which is every one minute. I wish I could run this every five seconds or 30 seconds, but I think Firebase doesn't allow less than one minute scheduling, right? So this is the best I can do in a live video. So again, I'm sorry for that. You'll have to wait for a minute or two every time I run this. Now, let's just do the quick setup, right? I'll also uh, print, as I said, I'll save the date. So let's just say new date. Perfect. Eventually, I want it to, it will be asynchronous code, right? Because now I'm actually saving something in the database. So I'll use async await. And I'm going to say db.collection. This is how you can store something in Firestore. And I'll name the collection time. You know, it's just a basic application and it's a demo, anyways. And then documents or date dot. Let's say to ISO string. Why not? I hope I'm not making any silly mistakes and this finally runs because the deploying of this function can take a couple of minutes. And if I have a bug, it will tell me only after a couple of minutes. And I really hate that when something like that happens on a live video. Timestamp. So I'm trying my best. Let me know if you're live and if you're watching if I'm making any mistakes so that we can save time. And I'm going to say to local string. So this is supposed to save the date and the time in my database whenever I, okay, this is good. Uh, whenever I run the application, so every one minute, if this cron application works, it should save the time in the database. Let's see if this works or not. Till then, I'll also, uh, till then we are deploying this. This looks good. I'll also quickly check if it is still logging, you know? The, our old application should still be running. So hello world from serverless application. It ran on 92121. So 921. This is perfect. But when the next time it runs, 922, it ran again. Then let me zoom in more so that you can probably have a better look. Then it ran on 923, 924, 925. So perfect. This is running perfectly fine. I'm very happy with this. And I hope uh, you have, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you also uh, see the power of this, right? It's so awesome that we can easily uh, schedule functions using Firebase. And if the one I'm deploying right now deploys successfully, then we should see something in the Firestore database, right? So you can think of a use case for your application in which you can check your database or insert something in a database every few seconds. You might have an API that only allows you 10 free attempts a day. Right after 10, let's say it's paid, right? Or maybe it only allows you 24 free, free hits a day, let's say for ease of use. So basically, if you still want to use that API in your application, you can only request 24 times a day. So for that reason, you can run a cron that runs every hour and save the API response in your database itself. So you don't even need to go to the external API, which is gonna cost you if you hit 25 times. You can just save every one hour and show that data to your users if it works for you. So that would be a perfect use case for a cron like this. Let's see if it deployed. It says deployment complete. It says the streaming has paused. Why? Because we just deployed a new function. So we need to restart the streaming. And also I'll refresh my database over here just to see if something was inserted already or not. It's supposed to run every one minute, so maybe it isn't ready yet, but it will soon be. Let's check the logs. And as I said, you also have a scheduler here, right? A scheduler will show you the frequency. It will also show you the next time it is supposed to run, and you can go here and force a job run, as I said last time. So let's do that. Let's force a job run. There you go. It says that it executed. And if I go here to my database and refresh, there you go. As simple as that. I have a new entry in my database, one for 227 and the other one for 228. And it's saving the time as well. It's perfect, right? Let, let's see again. This one was 227. This was a force run. So it's not exactly at a point in time. And this one is a uh, natural run, or we can say scheduled by a cron, 
let's just see if it executes one more time and then we'll end this video. And I'm really mind blown on how easy this was and I hope you are as well. And let me know if you create a cron function, let me know what application are you creating. I'm really intrigued and really interested to know about that. And this is just awesome, I'm really happy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And as we said in the beginning of this video, we are working on an intensive course of Angular and Firebase so that you can create a full stack application if you just know the basics of Angular. We'll also teach you Angular in that, by the way, uh, but by just learning a front end and a SA or an ABAS, which is backend as a service framework like Firebase, you can be a full stack developer today and create really awesome applications with databases, analytics, data mining, and uh, cloud functions and whatnot. So I'm really excited on what 2023 has in hold for us and let us know what you would like to uh, learn in our course. As you just saw, it ran a couple more times at 9.29. So let's see over here, there you go, 29, and we have a new entry, perfect. I think we, this is a perfect video for starting to learn on how the cron jobs work. Again, let us know if you have any questions, subscribe to our, our newsletter. And by the way, as we said, we are creating some courses and you might get some premium offers on those. It's going to release in the next couple of months. Let us know what you expect from the course. We'll also be sending you, uh, you know, a draft outline just to get an idea. We'll send you an outline and you can then tell us what you would like to include in that course or exclude. So it would be really a nice synergy between you and me and Kritika as well, who also is a partner in this channel. Really thank you for your time and see you next time.